Welcome over the Get to Know More Wonderful community. Now, to this video, I'm sure you are already feeling, enjoying the vibe that is coming with this particular video session. So, we are going to be looking at how to change the visual digest skin. I'm sure for today, you can see the skin is really looking unique and quite interesting, having a lot of fun to go with it. <laughs> so, before you even think of changing your visual digest skin, you need to ask yourself what is the of changing the visual digest skin. What you need to know there is these skins come in a variety of different ways. A lot of programmers putting a lot of effort to design some of these things and you need to know the capacity of your system and other features that is required before even thinking of changing because there are some resolutions that might not work with your system based on maybe your ram or other specifications but however irrespective of how you want to get it it's very very important but first you need to know there is this skins allows you to get some extra features that other than the would be the virtual DJ inbuilt uh, user interface might not give you some of those files. And some of them skins don't come with the preset or the inbuilt virtual DJ settings that you have. But irrespective of how you want to get it, it's left for you. Whether you can go to the settings part of the virtual DJ or get it from somebody to do. Now you need to know that it costs a lot of effort to put up some of these things. Tech skills are not really easy and they are not really cheap the way you think. That you go online and be looking for free things everywhere. The key thing that you need to know there is to design one of these things can take you seven to eight hours just to put up something like this. Sometimes days, weeks, depending on how you how good you are in even the learning aspect or even knowing it. If you don't know much about it, you might not even be able to do anything. That is why some people from the point of entry you can you can't the moment they start they see how difficult it is, they run away. So that is the truth. So going up looking for free things, I think you need to really have a Rethink on that. So first, you need to go to your settings. You go to your settings. In the one case, I use Shift Escalate. So this is it. This is where you have all your. Design. This is where you have all your different interfaces that you have. You can see this is the Serato screen. This is the one I'm, I'm using here. This is another one. This is the gray. You can see them individually. So some of these ones are preset. They come with the virtual DJ. And some of them you have to get it. So if you want to get from the virtual DJ preset, sometimes you go to this very point that says get more. And click this very particular point. But you have to make sure you are on the internet space. For those of you that always complain, I don't have that at all. Sorry. So you come to this very point, you see them, but then you pick the one you want. If you cannot find the one you are looking for, possibly you need to contact the person you see from. And possibly the person will ask you to pay because the two there is cost money to design this. They are not free. Software development is a very, very expensive aspect of development. Ordinary simple website. So for some of you that have tried it, you know that it's not easy. Just put up a simple website. So before you even think of doing that, getting that maybe if you are downloading it from another environment. First, you need to know that after downloading it, if you come to your download folder here, this is it in this case, like something like this or this virtual DJ screen. All you need to do is you copy it. When you highlight it, when you copy, you copy the file. When you copy the file, this is it. You go to your document, this document folder, your document folder. So this is the document folder here. So this is the environment. You look for the folder called Virtual DJ. There's a folder in this particular environment that is called Virtual DJ. So you go down, you see a couple of folders. If those folders are not showing in your system, you will need to go to your system setting where you turn on visibility of hidden folder. Visibility of hidden folder, hidden folder, visibility. Go to your settings, go to visibility document visibility or files the visibility you turn it on so that you can be able to store this folder because this folder are inbuilt folder that comes with that stores settings of different softwares everything you see here there are particular software that i am using here 
So you see files virtual DJ keyboard mapping and lots of other. So this is the virtual DJ on down here. You open it. When you open it, you scroll down, you see where you have skins here. This particular point is skin. So these are the various skins. Anyone you get, you just copy it, you come to this very particular point. And then you go to paste. Look at it, control V paste. Once you paste it, in this case I'm already having it here, that is what. So once you paste it, then you are done. Once it is already here, the next thing you do is you go back to your virtual DJ software, this environment. You will now go to this settings. In, the, in my own case, I use shift escalate. This is your key. So you click, you go to your interface here, this particular interface here. You can see them. Look at the one I just pasted there. You can see it here when you select it or any other one that you want. So that is how you press it. It is very simple and straightforward. And for it, maybe you are running a virtual DJ that you use to record video session. In your own case, you need to get this logo remover. Look at it. Virtual screen edit. This is very one. Once you select it down here, you need to install it first. After installing it, you come to this very particular point to click it. It's going to remove the logo from the virtual DJ during your recording session. So your video is going to be playing. You will not see the logo on it. Let me, let me run it so that you get to see what I'm talking about here. You see my your virtual DJ here. So you get to see the logo I'm talking about. So you see this very small logo here. It will not be there during your recording session. So that is the beauty of the whole thing. So you do it correctly. So thanks for being here. I'm sure you're enjoying the entire mix that is going on now. Let's continue to enjoy ourselves. Let's go back to the mix. So if you need anything, check the description box. I have a couple of things there. You can check it. For those who are interested in the mapping, the process of getting the mapping is very simple. Follow the instructions from the page I have put there. Within a few minutes, you will get it. If you still have any challenge, you can contact me through any of the social links that are on, the, on that particular page or even here on the description box of this video. So thanks for being here. Catch you in my next video. And don't forget to click the video that I will bring you more. Thank you.